Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Deacon counsels hope as Taylor confronts Brooke about her plans. On today's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Brooke and Taylor argue over Rome, RG and Eric advance a cause, and Steffi offers Liam a suggestion. Liam and Steffi discuss about how amazed they are by their daughter at the Cliff House. Steffi mentions Kelly's desire to learn Italian and Liam demonstrates a new phrase. He claims that tomorrow will be a significant day and that his wife and Steffi's brother will become inseparable. Steffi inquires about his well-being. I'm fine, Liam shrugs. I would like to say carefree, but not really. He expresses gratitude to Hope for taking the time to see her grandfather before departing in Deacon's packed restaurant. Hope informs him that her mother has joined them. Deacon inquires as to if Thomas, the lead designer, is still working, and when she replies that he is, her father mutters about how Liam must feel. Ridge informs RG and Eric at Forrester that Brooke will be traveling with them to Rome. Eric considers how wonderful it must be for RG's parents to be living together. What will they do in their free time? He thinks. Ridge informs his father and son that this vacation is for work purposes only. Eric assures him that he and Brooke may have fun in their free time. Rich complains that he is about as subtle as an axe. Taylor enters the design studio as Brooke is on the phone announcing that she and Ridge would be traveling together to Rome. Taylor admits to Brooke that she still doesn't think she was completely honest with Ridge, but adds, But I reacted poorly. Taylor maintains that she was attempting to be there for Brooke and aid in her recovery. With a nod, Brooke says, So you could try to move on with Ridge. Taylor is informed by Brooke, I really don't have time for this. Taylor is aware that she is arranging her significant trip to Rome, with Ridge. Steffi promises Liam at the Cliff House that Hope and Thomas won't be traveling alone in Italy. Liam is aware of his wife's devotion. While Steffi concurs, she believes Hope is hiding her conflicting feelings for Thomas from Liam and herself. Hope tells Deacon she can manage Liam at Il Giardino. Deacon advises her to take his advice. He isn't listening to her, according to Hope. She keeps reassuring him that it is all business. Deacon inquires as to Thomas' knowledge of that. Thomas isn't the issue, okay? Shouts Hope. The topic of Deacon's troubled past and his propensity for acting on impulse comes up. She wouldn't be sitting there, according to Deacon, if he hadn't given in to some of those urges. However, you need not worry because you are not like that. Eric and RG watch as Ridge berates Charlie on the phone because he can't find his passport while they are in Forrester's main office. When Eric discovers it, Taylor, who had also wanted to go, wonders, what about Taylor? He is unsure whether Taylor traveling on the business trip is a wise decision, Brooke especially Taylor in around. the design studio that she will be conducting business in Rome and being present to support her daughter. Taylor says she told Ridge she wanted to be there to support Thomas and that she would. Why don't we take the same flight together? Wouldn't that be fun? She is told by Brooke that is just absurd. There is no reason for her to be there because this is completely business. Deacon tells Hope at Il Giardino how Brooke and he both made mistakes because they were impetuous. Thankfully, they didn't tell her about it. I consider you to be a saint. She's not, Hope assured her father. Lyam reveals to Steffi that Hope has assured him numerous times that he shouldn't be concerned. Steffi believes she is currently a little perplexed. She says, hoping that she's mistaken, but just to be safe, maybe you should come to Rome. RG worries at the main office that Eric left quickly when Donna called. He hopes nothing is wrong. Ridge tells him it occurs regularly, which makes him laugh. RG queries, oh. When the realization finally sinks in, oh, Ridge wants to caution him not to put too much stock in him and Brooke going on vacation together, but he is delighted they have some time to themselves. RG claims that his mother is his destiny despite the fact that he is intolerant to family conflict. The entire world is aware of it, even Rome. Taylor wants to go on the trip at the design office, but Brooke snaps that she's not in fashion. She mentions her successes while working at Forrester and adds that her daughter now has a lucrative line. Taylor reminds out that if it weren't for Thomas, Hope's line would have been yanked. Thus, it makes sense for her to want to be there to support him. We all know why you want to be there, Rook says with a nod. I am able to see through you. Deacon concerns that Hope seems depressed at Il Giardino. 
She currently has a lot going on in her life. She might occasionally be too harsh on herself. Deacon cautions. Remember to be human, okay? Go ahead and enjoy yourself a little. Embrace your passions. Hope gives her dad a hug and thanks him. Deacon tells her to be cautious, but to enjoy yourself and create some memories, telling her to go get him. Hope departs. At Steffi's house, Liam explains to her that Wyatt had suggested him visit Italy as well, but he has told him he doesn't want to be that person. He does not lack confidence in his wife. Steffi acknowledges this and pledges to monitor events in Rome just in case. RG asserts in Forrester's main office that he is not attempting to force his parents back together, but they would still be together if Thomas hadn't done what he did. He is reminded by Ridge that they are working to break the cycle of suffering and disappointment. But I don't know, sometime, destiny, R.G. overhears him say, perhaps in Rome, in an embrace. Taylor believes there is more to the trip than Brooke is letting on in the design studio. Brooke admits that she has some concerns about Ridge. She believes he has abandoned his beliefs. In destiny? Taylor queries. She groans and says, oh my god, I've been right all this time. She understands that Brooke is traveling to Rome to restore his faith in love. Xiao Taylor, says Brooke as she waltzes out the door. Liam informs Hope that he just put the kids to bed when she arrives at his house. Before leaving on her vacation tomorrow, Hope claims she saw her father. Liam offers to prepare her some food. Hope will visit the kids to bid them good night. Liam interrupts her and mentions Thomas. If they can't accomplish this, Hope inquires. She desires a quiet night. I cherish you above all else. I want a man like you. She promises that nothing will put their marriage or family in danger. In an embrace, Hope claims that her time in Rome will be thrilling before she returns to him. To our life, to our family. After she exits the room, Liam shudders and appears worried. Taylor feels the sting of rejection. B&B spoilers for Wednesday, June 14, 2023, show Taylor facing another consequence of her scheming. Bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday tease Taylor the traitor sulking when she's left behind. Tune in to see how she deals with being left stateside. Taylor, Krista Allen, was looking forward to boarding the Forrester Creations jet and flying away to Rome with her children. And Ridge, very much so, Ridge, Thorsten K. Let's face it, the biggest reason she wanted to be on this trip was to connect with her ex. Sadly, that's not going to happen. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.